It's easy to have lot? creative avoidance. Ooh, that, okay, so creative avoidance. How would you define that? Because like my mind's exploding now. Creative, creative avoidance is um, doing the little things that distract you and take you away from the one thing or the purpose of what you need to achieve that day, mm. maybe because it's easier or whatever, um, or because you don't want to jump in and do the activity. So it's like, uh, let me get a cup of coffee. Uh, let me stop here. Oh, there's John over there. Let me go have a conversation. Would you say him. it's worse now? And then all of a sudden, so you've stimulus. lost you've lost a whole morning, and so you can't get those hours back. So it's, um, yeah, I, I use the word uh, of I've used the word focus a lot because you have to stay focused on the moment and what you're doing. Would you say like? What worked 30 years ago in real estate to be successful still works. Just there's a lot of distract or can be a lot of distractions or because that can be a very comp, you know, confusing scenario. There are ways to build a business that are different than 20 years ago. However, right. what worked 20 years ago does work. It's just are you going to have creative avoidance uh, or not? Yeah, I think focus? That, that's a factor as well as there are disruptors that are constantly mm. coming into the uh, to the business or into a market segment and disrupting the what market. are some of the big disruptors you I mean you've been in the business long enough to be able to say hey this is how it was this is where it's going like what are your thoughts well, I, I think there are a variety of changes I mean look back on the business um, years and years ago there were uh, for lack of a better term the mom and pop shops small local local guys that went into more regional guys that went into you know the uh, Remaxes and the Keller Williams and the growth pattern there. There are constantly other new models yeah. being developed that come in. But to answer your question directly, I think that um, yes, there are some fundamental business practices that applied 20 and 30 years ago. I hesitated on the number of years <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that, you just, that applied. You started at five. Yeah, exactly. You were like that very applied young. back then. Were that young. are still applicable today. Okay. Uh, but I also feel that with the advent of society changing, uh, technology changing, uh, how we do business, how consumers um, find product today, housing, mm. uh, the exposure through the internet, it's all a different game. In the past, for example, the realtor was, quote, the keeper of the gate. Yeah. Because you didn't get that information unless you went through a real estate company or a realtor. And today it's out there on the internet. So that dynamic has changed and, and shifted. And I, I feel that, you know, uh, well, look, if we take any company and we study companies, um, there are a lot of companies that were there 30 years ago that aren't that aren't there today. Oh, yeah. And so that's a matter of what Wayne Gretzky said, skating ahead of the puck as to where it's going. And I think to be successful in business, um, that needs to happen. 